Taking a little bit of a break from Titanfall. Figured I'd play this. This is a fun little game if you're into um, grinding your head off. I really just enjoy it because... Well... You'll see in a second. It's called Star Conflict. Weird space game. Let's see if we can get a match with anyone this late at night. Ah, uh, da 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 da. It's even got the space shuttle Endeavor in it, as you can see. Who wouldn't want to fly that? Huh? I'd love to fly this. I really would. So I also got something called the Spiral. If anyone knows what this is, please let me know. Oh, we finally got into a match! Okay, there it goes. Uh, <coughs> looks like I jumped into a weird game. And here we are. So yeah, I'm not stopping Titanfall. It will still be continuing. I'm just taking a little bit of a break from it. know it's important to uh, diversify I think also I really hope no one gets motion sickness watching this box tomb Thrusters to maximum. So in this game, you play as a mercenary spaceship pilot. It's got ships anywhere from the size of small little fighters like what I'm flying now to that massive destroyer that I am shooting at, and that just blew me up. And unfortunately, I don't think I'll ever get one. You can go to frigates, fighters, and they just updated the game! Put in some fairly massive warships. Tier 3 destroyers. I, however, All enemy ships destroyed. enjoy this. After the battle, you get to loot things. See, I just got an achievement up there. For the most part now, it's um, just cash, but it used to be you'd get materials like that there, the du duplicator. Those are still there so here and there. Yeah, 
But yeah, to be quite honest, it's a fun little game. Let's go back to the hangar and I'll show you the destroyers I was talking about. Yes, I do. Okay. So, for this, we'll do PPE. Open up your ship branch here. You see you've got three to them. The Empire, Federation, Jericho Reach, Illidium. And then you get the unique ships, which is the space shuttle and all that. Now, we'll go down all the way down to Tier 8. That's where your first destroyer is. And as you can see, it is absolutely bloody massive. I've almost got it finished. I just need to finish the destroyer internal structure. Oh, we're in a fight again. So yeah, what you'll see here is um, some of the little bits and pieces of the campaign you can play. As per usual, we'll be going in my fighter, Silent Fox. And then, as you can see right here, we've got my DLC ship, Joker. Attention! Prepare for the attack! The enemy fleet is on its way! Good luck, mercenaries! Yay! A new enemy wave is drawing near! Prepare for combat! Large concentration of enemy ships... Now that timer you see up there, near the map. Well done! Which That's betrays everything in the 3D view is how long a match will go on, similar to something like World of Warships. But this game is just absolutely bloody marvelous. Box 2! ran into something. Fox 2! Yeah. As you can see, I really hope none of my two subscribers get motion sickness watching this. Now, I can't be for sure. This is a relatively fun game. It doesn't have that big of a learning curve compared to something like World of Warships. If you played a, um, well, heck, any game where you fly a fighter aircraft then chances are you will understand the controls of this. And I'm just going to do Attention some loops here. The enemy is preparing another offensive. Prepare for action. The game's relatively polished and it is frequently updated. And it is on Steam. It is one of those little hidden gems. Find. I have one missile left. I think I will use it. And as you can see, someone's just having fun shooting shit. Don't think I got the kill there. So I think here I'll show you what the Grizzly is. This is an engineering ship, meaning it's rear line. I use it as a front line flagship. Mainly to shoot down fighters and act as a distraction since it is set up mainly to 
auto regen and defend itself. As you can see by my two little um, builder drones there that are just popping lead out. This iteration is called Star Conflict Journey. Just recently came out. I think as I mentioned before, they overhauled the game engine. They overhauled everything. Made it phenomenal. Each ship handles differently. So you saw how slow the blizzard was, you saw how agile the silent fox is. Now let's show you the Joker. Same setup, except a lot more agile. Where the Grizzly had firepower, the Fox had speed. This one turn on a dime. Mission accomplished. Returning to base. You see, you get rare stuff. Again, it's mainly cash. You really want stuff, want the raw materials you need in this game. You've got to go out in the open space, which is also a lot of fun. Let me see if I can find more of their missions. The ships level up. Each level up, you get health and everything. It's got a million credits. What do I need for the next ship? As you can see here, this is the type of ships. EMC, Recon, Covert Ops, Gunships, Command and Control, Tackler, Long Range, Engineering, and you got the Destroyers. Now let's scroll down here. This is a destroyer that was added recently. It is purchasable as DLC, as you can see here. Or, I believe, from what I can see, you can manufacture it. These little bumps here are for turrets. And you've got on the sides here, what I like to call flak array turrets, which is the weaponry you'll see mounted on my frigate there. You can see for comparison how massive it is. See, it's got eight flak arrays and then four turrets. You can choose whatever you want to put on there. I don't have one because, as you can see, it is very expensive to manufacture. And even then, I'm not sure how much I would use it. Don't get me wrong, I love flying the big ships, but they have their trade-offs. In exchange for firepower, they can't turn on a dime. And in exchange for, for, say, something like this, where you saw how I can just loop around infinitely, they have trouble tracking. They're really better at long-range engagements. With that said, I have stuff to do in open space, so let's show you open space. Let's take my... Uh, box out. This is open space. Those well, skulls you're seeing there are our resident aliens. 
when I got the game, they were the main enemy. Fox 2. Yeah. You can definitely get motion sickness from this. And they will give you these little random dialogues when you finish. These are related to other missions. We hit M here. It'll show us my system map. Places I need to go. So we'll jump to the drift. The paint jobs are customizable. I prefer this black on red scheme with the piratish emblem. Just because it's fun. As we move through here, you'll see convoy over there. Looks like they're under attack. The visuals in this game are impressive considering its age. I don't know when it came out, but I've had this game since I was in high school, which was about three, four years ago. For an older game like this, it is still getting new players. Very good. You kind of want your um, active community around. Pick up little drops here and there, cargo, all things like that. There's another player there. Looks like he's a level behind me. He's piloting a Fox M as a fighter version of this. And as you can see, his weaponry is different. Say hi, buddy, you're on YouTube. Oh, looks like that convoy we saw earlier just got screwed up. Now, in open space, there is no time limit. You can see he's still shooting off up there. My, sc my screen. Here's the wreck of a fighter. Now, as you can see, the game is very realistic when it comes to space details. You ain't gonna slow down very quickly. You've got big engines on the back. I want to turn. The ones on the side will ignite. As you can see, hopefully, while, you, while I make you ill. I want to stop. There's retros on the front. Go forward. And then right now I'm working in the Empire territory. So we'll warp to their little space station and see what it is. Yeah, see the retros there? Here we are, we jump in. This is the system. Right now I have PvEP mode turned off, just because when I fly out I don't want to risk being shot up by a bunch of destroyers just camping. Which means I won't see as many people as compared to if I had PvEP on. Kill my speed and we'll talk. See, I come back in, it'll give me my experience for the little fighting we did, the zones we visited, my karma. My stats. And since I was stupid enough to do that, I didn't get any progress for all that time we spent out in open space. 
Now, because the game was updated and I am a bit of an older player, I don't remember a lot of how to get around. It's been a while. As you can see, here's your mapping. Sparta? What? And you can visit other stations than this one. As I said, I'm currently kind of stuck here because I can't remember how to um, move. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. As you can see, it has a lot of achievements. I mean, I think there's 242 your competitive medals I played this game for almost three four years and but yes another thing is they have this lane has medals which is the devs will play this game with you as you can see I've helped them in fights twice And I've turned my ships into massive bullet sponges. Jeez. You can believe that. But yeah, I go here. Well, wait, let's see. Yes, yeah, so it frequently has support, flight training. Even if you aren't good in this, you can get good. You can improve. There are clans dedicated solely to helping newer players improve. You move up the ranks fairly quickly up until you hit something like level 7. And as you can see, I just went continuously down one tree, so I'm sure you can get down here a lot faster. But for me, I mainly level the ships I'm interested in, the ships I like to fly. God, though, that lion. Hmm. Look at that. I mean, sheesh, that is a beautiful design. I really, really can't remember how to get out of Empire territory. I'm a mercenary and I'm stuck! Now... If I had time, and it looks like I just missed it, they have these called special operations where you will battle massive things. Is it this? So yeah, here you go. Here's a PvP area. Transport of oh, powers. Chris creepy. I wish. I could find. where I need to go to get out
Right, hold on, let me just try this. There's the pass, there's a drift, a dreadnought. Yeah, there we go, that's how. So this was also added recently in one of the other d uh, updates. This place is called Olivium Theta. And anyone who's watched Star Trek or is a big fan of Star Trek will kind of see where they drew inspiration for the station. Doesn't that just remind you of a Borg spear? <laughs> oh my god. Call these things the aliens. It's all the way at line now that I've remembered how to get around. Now I don't know all about up here if it will be added in a future update or whatever, but for right now, the, the game just focuses around this whole area. So let's see. Let's see, you've got the Empire here. And then their front lines with up here. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's why. When they updated, okay. So I just need to raise my level to le to ten to get back there. Okay. I suppose I'll show you the inside of New Eden. I'm not New Eden, uh, Elidium Theta. New Eden is the Federation free point. So you jump in this little wormhole thing. I'm just gonna leave this here for the next couple of hours. Make all of you think you're on LSD. Welcome to Station Elidium Theta. Pilots with a license get discounts at the bar. Hey, I get free booze and a virtual game. Has yes, I? You can see they haven't taken down their Christmas decorations yet. I ain't gonna touch too much on the storyline. If you're interested in the game, I suggest you play it. There really isn't much of one besides go here, do this, kill this. Storyline's more told through the tasks that you'll see here. Like for instance, this one here. Where it's just talk about a lost fleet. And to do that, you'll have to complete the tasks that you saw me do earlier that I didn't... Yeah. I think I'll do a couple more public matches and then... I don't know. I enjoy the game, that said. I really do. What level am I? Yeah, I'm level 7. You'll earn experience as you go for up through the battles, apparently, and you'll level up. You used to be the whole map was free to roam, but... Guess not! You can obviously see that some of these things took inspiration out of real life. But yeah, see, I've got my uh, retros there. There. Big old booster there. And it's doubled on the right side for something like uh, my frigate up here. 
my retros are a little bit harder to spot. But I've got one there, one up there. Frigate's more designed, again, for rear line defense, so you won't see, as opposed to the Fox and the Joker. It's more built to go slow and bring up up your ass. I think I'll make this a little bit difficult for myself. I'll go on level 9 and I'll fly still this fox. Attention squad! We have to protect key facilities at all costs! And of course, since this is a public game, you get people telling you to do things. Man your positions. New enemy forces incoming. Enemy squadron sighted. Enemy ship destroyed. Looks like we survived that. Alright, let's go full speed. Box 2! Little blue bars you're seeing on my ship and on the on on what I'm shooting at is their shields. You know, because every single game in space has got to have some sort of shield. Hey, look, I never thought I'd see a NASA employee. Ooh, overshot him. See, they're all flying in different ships. Looks like other than me and Doc. All the rest are firing. Is that a raptor? Someone just having fun. Enemy ship destroyed. Now don't be confused. Just because there's firepower doesn't mean Warning. Danger. really anything. It a lot of this game depends on after a certain point skill. As I get that lag spike and double kill from the missile. Just get rid of that last one so I can start the next round with a fresh batch. As you can see from the scoreboard, I don't really focus much on that. The missiles you can see I'm using the la lock on and fire within a certain area. They're useful. Ambushes, long range attacks. Harassment if you're playing PvP. I think most of you can imagine, you know, so certainly someone's ship who can do this and then shows up behind everyone else launching missiles. Followed by 
gunpowder. Gunpowder. Gunfire. It's pretty useful. I the right person just like the missile because I can be a massive if jerk. Like in my initial charge, I'll get mixed up and lost. So I'll just fly way up into the X or Y axis. And I'll just say play games of peekaboo. Peek As I do again, my uh, little loot hunt. As you can see, it's all cash. But yeah, don't worry. I'm not stopping Titanfall 2 or anything. I'm just gonna do a couple of these videos. My congratulations on the victory. An artifact appraiser is expecting and you. break. As a little AI robot in the station just annoys me. I don't know. This is Star Conflict 2. Two. Yeah, I'm too used to playing. This is Star Conflict. Current iteration is Journey. You know, like the band. And if you like this, whatever. Because I'll still probably be doing more of it.